Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So, firstly, I got a ring light, which I'm so excited about. I don't know how the lighting is looking, but I'm still playing around. Hopefully, it's not too harsh. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a ColourPop haul. So, this is all the products that I picked up from ColourPop recently, and it's from the Amanda Steele collection, as you guys probably saw from the title. So, when she collaborated with ColourPop, I'm like, this collection is definitely going to hit it out of the park, and I was so... I really was so excited. Anyways, I picked up everything that's in the collection and I'll leave links down below if you guys want to purchase anything. So, I have tested these out for a few days already and... I don't know. Everything altogether costed around, I think, $51 or $53, which is not too, too bad for how much you get, but... Considering how the quality is, it's kind of like a waste of money. Do you know what I'm saying? So the first product that's part of the collection is this Weekend Warrior palette, which I was so excited about because this is ColourPop's actual first palette with regular pressed like powders, eyeshadows, you know? So I was like, yo, this is going to be amazing. Anyways, um, this is how the actual packaging looks. Really, really adorable. I love the purple. And then this is just a sleeve. You pop this out and this is how the actual palette looks. So damn pretty. Um, and then you just open it up right over here. There's like a magnetic closure here. And then you have your four shades right there. It opens up like that. Really beautiful packaging. There's no mirror and it's nice cardboard. So that's how all these shades look. Really, really pretty. The main reason why I was so excited about this was because these are cool tone shades. And I, I really love cool tone shades because I feel like everything is so warm lately. And it's like... Can we get some coolness in here? So I was so excited to play around with this and create different looks and have like that cool toned eyeshadow look and oh my god. These are probably the hardest eyeshadows I ever had to blend out in my life. They blend, they swatch really really nicely and they feel like tushy soft, like really really nice. But they're very like flaky, powdery, very hard to blend, very patchy. Shit yo, these are matte ass patchy. Um, and I don't know, they were so not a breeze to work with. So I was so disappointed because I used it once and I was like, okay, something's up with like how I'm applying it. Gotta switch out the brushes and I'm like, okay, screw it, next. I tried it the next day and again, I used different brushes, different techniques and I'm like, what the hell is going on over here? So I was really, really disappointed with this even though I wanted to love this like to death because it's the cutest thing alive and has really beautiful shades. Uh, I don't know. It was just not doing it for me. So I really just don't think this is worth it. I, I want to keep it because it's so cute, but I don't know if I will because I probably will not use it ever again. So this is how these shades, shades swatch and they do have a lot of fallout and a lot of like chunkiness, I would say. So that's how they look. Really, really gorgeous. But again, so freaking hard to work with. Like, I can't. So this eyeshadow palette was definitely a bummer and I was just, I was not about it. I don't know, I was totally not feeling it. The next few products I picked up are lip products. So these are all the lip products that did release to the collection. The first one is an ultra matte lip. Then we do have an ultra satin lip and then we have an ultra glossy lip. So I love the fact that they took every single finish that they have and created something for this collection. You know what I'm saying? So you have the best of all the worlds. So the first one that we're gonna talk about is this one. And this one is the gloss. This one is called Hack, and I think it's beautiful. The packaging is spot on gorgeous. I love the actual like cover, and the color of the gloss is a really beautiful pinky color with like little specks of like um, shimmer. I would say just so damn beautiful, and it really applies gorgeously on. So I really really like this. Very on par with their other like lip glosses. So hopefully you guys can see it right there. It gives a little bit of like it gives like a hint of color on the lips, but not too drastic. You can wear it on its own. Or you could wear it on top of a like lipstick or something. But this was beautiful and I really, really liked it. The next lip product that's part of the collection is this one, which is one of my favorites. And this one is called Jiffy. Again, the packaging, beautiful, same exact uh, lid. And then the actual shade is more of like a nude color, which I feel like you can't go wrong with. Because like, who the hell doesn't love li nude lip colors? You know what I'm saying? It's just like the it thing for life forever. So this is how this one swatches. And this one is the satin lip. So this one is, yeah, it's, this one's very, very comfortable. It has like a little bit of a gray undertone, but it's so damn pretty on. I really, really do enjoy to wear that. And I really do like the actual like satin formula of ColourPop. I think that they're great on the lips. They last and they're pretty comfortable. They don't feel like crackly and whatever, you know? And then the next lip product that's included in the collection is this color. I think it's so beautiful. It's just a really, really nice purpley color. Again, the lid is beautiful. And this is in the shade uh, Chaps. Um, this is a matte finish, so it is a little bit more drawing on the lips, so just be aware of that. 
A good way to wear these is if you put like a lip balm on bottom and then keep your lips moisturized and then put a matte lip product on. Oh my god, it's like perfect after. But this is definitely not my favorite formula from ColourPop, but not that bad. Like I like it, but I'm not obsessed with this formula, but it's not bad at all. Um, so that's how the shade looks. I think it's so unique and it's really, really nice. Uh, the thing is with this one, it applies really nicely on, but you do have to go in with at least two to three coats to actually make it opaque and not patchy because the first coat, it is pretty patchy. So that's with this lip product. And then the last three products that are included in this collection are, what are these even called? These are called the Super Shock Eyeshadows. How did I forget that? I have like 2,000 of these. Anyways, these are the Super Shock Eyeshadows that release part of the line, and there were three shades, and they are all metallic finishes. Now, I'm not a huge fan of, like, the metallic finishes of, like, ColourPop. Like, some of them are, like, hit and miss, but these are, like, literally... They're, like, all miss. What? So, this one is a beautiful, like, blue teal color, and this one is called Hydroplane, I think. Um, this is how the package looks. You guys have to see how beautiful it is. It says ColourPop and then Amanda Steel on it. Yes, it is straight. And then this is how this shade looks. Really, really nice. And I love the color, but this is chunky as hell could ever be. Very, very flaky. Very, like, crumbly and thick and PC. And this applies to the other, like, pressed pigments. What is this called? The Super Shock Eyeshadows. And, I don't know, we're just not about it. The, the actual consistency is nice and, like, smooth as can be. But, uh, they just, they're so not workable, you know? So, let's see. This is how this shade looks. Um, if you put it on your lid, you can build it up, but it kind of, it's kind of patchy, I would say. So, you really, really have to work like your ass off to make that look like popping on the lid, which is essentially what people want for it to be there, not for it to be like sheer, you know? Or maybe you do, I don't know, but these were hard to work with. Anyways, the next shade that we do have here is a really nice kind of like pinky color. Um, this is called Steel, Amanda Steel. And this is how this one looks, really, really beautiful. But again, really hard to work with. So this is how the actual shade looks. Just like that. This one is not as pigmented. This one you have to build up for like six years at least to have anything showing. Um, this could be worn as a really nice light highlighter. And that's probably the best thing I would use it for. Not an eyeshadow because seriously, it just literally does not show up. It does not even stay. That's the point also. Anyways, and then the last and final product that's included in this collection is this beautiful purple color. And this one is called Ignition. And... Oh my god, oh my god, yo. This is how this one looks. This one is the worst of them all, which I was so disappointed with because this is the one I was so excited for. Like, this is my favorite color ever. Wow. Literally, this is like literal garbage. Like a waste of absolute money. It's kind of disappointing because it wasn't cheap, you know, altogether. Anyways, um, this is how this one looks, just like that. Again, you can build it up, but it does take a lot. It's very flaky, very chunky, and just literally not a breeze to work with. So I'm pretty disappointed with these Super Shock shadows. Alright guys, so that's pretty much everything that's included in the ColourPop Amanda Steel collection. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. When you guys saw these swatches and how they applied, and if you feel like you want it, then I'll leave the links down below. But if you feel like you want to skip on it, trust me, you will not be sorry. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Let me know your thoughts and comments below. I'm really curious to know like what you think about this collection. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.